tell you what, them gusts. Jesus Christ. Well, it looks like the storm's starting to hit with. Oh my God. I don't know if the mic's hiding the wind. Finer bits. And uh, yeah, we're having a treat. I actually prefer doing all my axe work when I'm on my knees. Well, as you can see, the wind's blowing the fire. So it's, it's getting a it going like. Carrots, taties, onions, lots of bits and pieces in there. And it's gonna look finger looking good. So I'm just gonna move these over. Right, well, hi everybody, and welcome back to Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft. There's no walking today, cause we're carrying a carry bit of kit, and we've had to take a bit of a detour, cause all the cows are now on the field with the young calves that they've been dropping. So we couldn't walk around them, so we've had to take the long route round. But now uh, I'm out with Rooney. We're out for two nights. We're gonna be cooking some amazing food. Well, Rooney's gonna be cooking it and prepping it and things. Uh, hopefully we're going to get a bit more building done on the next two days. Don't know if it's going to be a one-parter or a two-parter, we'll just see as I edit. But uh, yeah, it's good to be back out. We're due some really heavy winds. We've got a storm hitting with over the next couple of days. It's great at the minute, it's not too bad. It's dry, that makes a change. But uh, Rooney's just getting set up with his hammock. Mr Rooney? Aye, aye. That was a that was a hard work in me, wasn't it? It was carrying your bait box. Aye, what it is. carrying me. carrying my bait box. I'll tell you what, <laughs> you shall know how much I've had to carry in the day when you watch all his next couple of videos, because the food that he's been eating, <laughs> Mister Zebra and Buffalo Eater, is eating more <laughs> than enough food for a small village. In fact, I'm thinking of get up. I'm thinking of making him a sir. So town eat a lot, Lund Larson, you know, so yeah, he's got a stately name now because it's just keeping up with him, you know what I mean? Well, I'm actually, I'm actually nearly, I'm, I'm, I'm about quarter of the way of catching up to Rooney's weight because I have, since I've been off work, I have been putting on a bit of weight because I've been eating and drinking far too much. So after this weekend, I'm going on a, a bit of a diet when I'm not out camping and then eating, <laughs> eating as much as a small village plus two of us when I'm out camping to make up for it. Small town. <laughs> so in any way, like I say, it's, um, what's that storm that's hitting me? Storm yeah. Sheila or something. <laughs> she, Sheila? It's Storm Sheila. Storm, storm Sheila or it's something. Ah, ah, different, ah. It's some woman's name in any way. I think it's about the ninth one we've had this year so far. But um, yeah, so Rooney's in the hammock because obviously we haven't gotten out for him to um, sleep under a shelter yet. And I'm not sure if the video has come out when I've done a day camp before this, or a, well, it will come out before this. You would have seen I've been up. Rooney, I'm just going to crack on now, mate. Yep. Yeah. Right. Because uh, me and Rooney have got to have another hike back to the car, because I've got to go and pick up a cast iron pot and a few other bits and pieces. Um, so we just kind of carry it all in one go, because it's, it's a hard walk in, like. But obviously, you will never see it, because it's outside of the woods, and I don't want the farmer's land being on the video apart from inside the woods. So in any way, yeah. So um, last time I was up here for a day camp, two days ago, I put that tarp up. It's held up really well. And I put these plastic clips and it's pulling it down. Uh, so that's brilliant. And it looks like the runoff of the water is much better than all with that extra tarp. But, the inside of the shelter is bone dry. It's a bit damp underneath the porch end, but that's not the bother. It's where my bed's gonna be. This wall here is definitely getting done this weekend. That is for sure. But just in case, um, I've brought a couple of tops with us. So anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling because I've already been waffling for four and a half minutes. I'm gonna get my bed set up. I made a noise. Something for me. Then he 
Right, well, as you can see, me and Rooney are down at the old woodland and we're just getting some nice bits of hardwood for the fire tonight. Um, the meal that we're cooking tonight is going to be like a beef stew type casserole thing, I think, and it's going to take about four hours to cook, so we need some decent wood that's going to give off some nice heat and give off some good embers as well. Rooney's just up the top there and uh, he's just cutting away. Oh, happy days. I'm just cutting all these nice big limbs I've just found. I think these are mostly recent, so hopefully most of it will be dry. Some of it's a bit damp because it's been on the ground, but there's loads and loads of dodgy limbs up above his legs. So I need to keep an eye on it because the wind is starting to uh, arrive now. So as you can see in the distance, we've got loads of black clouds coming, but yeah, the trees are swaying swaying big time so throughout the night and throughout the day you probably hear cattle noises because we've got loads of cattle in the field now they've just been doing that uh, dropping the calves this weekend uh, this week sorry so yeah but tomorrow i'll definitely be um doing some work on the shelter i think tonight we're just gonna get ourselves settled in get as much firewood as we can and uh get the get the food cooked so we don't want to be still sitting there cooking at 12 o'clock at night like we normally do but uh i don't even know what time it is now it's two o'clock so times are ticking like so i want to get the fire on within the next two hours so that'll give it about eight o'clock to have some food but uh the weather is tremendous so it's lovely and warm uh, we've both come down here with our jackets thinking in the wind it's going to be cold within seconds of walking into the main area i was like wish i hadn't put it on but uh yeah Rooney's using a bow saw um, that I brought up that I had found lying around. So I think it needs a new blade, like, because it, it's a struggle on the fixed stuff. But he's getting there, he's got more wood done than me, because I'm waffling. <laughs> Makes a change though, doesn't it? Yeah. Get him grafting. <laughs> Right, well, the wind's definitely kicking in now. The trees are practically buckling over. So these big gusts of winds, oh, dear me. So, Rooney's just at the back there. So now we're able to collect loads of firewood. So we've got three carrier bags full of hardwood and then a bergen full. Rooney's just up the back there, cutting loads of bits of wood off the trees. And uh, I'm going to start snapping some twigs up as well. But the trees are going ballistic. Wow. That's really, really like bad. Yep. Been round check the trees and they're all standing. There's no dodgy ones, so but yeah. The bad wind is coming. And there's Mr. Rooney. The white carrier bags is all our food, we just keep them hung off the ground in case there's any little creatures come and start nibbling away at our meat and veg. So yeah, just now being hit by an acorn. Whoa. Oh, tell you what them gusts. Jesus Christ. Well it looks like the storm's starting to hit work. For a few hours in any way. Yeah, time to get some firewood. Right, so I'm going to snap all these twigs here and just make a nice pile. And uh, Rooney's doing the same. And then we're going to get some food prepped. Get some food prepped, get the fire prepped, and get the fire on. Woohoo! 
Right, well, it's lovely blue skies. It's looking bloody lovely out here. Yeah. For them trees. Oh my God. I don't know if the mic's hiding the wind. Well, it will do actually. But uh, yeah. That's one blowy wind. Some canny gusts. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, definitely bluey. The camp's just there. Not far away from the edge, so we've easily got a, a quick access if we need to. But um, yeah. It looks more dramatic, more dramatic when you're inside the load line than where it is outside. But I tell you what, I'm not going to face you the other way because as soon as I point the camera in the other direction, nah, not going to happen. But anyway, yeah, it's bloody lovely out here. I tell you what, this is an ideal place to sit on a nice summer's night, watching the sunset going down over the hills and that. I tell you, it's going to be finger licking good. It's just a pity I cannot really show you where it is. The glove of love. What's that remind you of? Oh, Matron. What's that remind you of? <laughs> Do you not watch Mr. Blot Outdoors? Who's he? <laughs> Who's he? How very dare you? He is a very famous YouTuber from the North East. Pity he lives in Sunderland Lake, but never mind. That's why I live in Arab, he's a mangum. Harry Christopher. <laughs> Had to be done, like, i just seen Rooney, he discarded his glove onto the ground because he's busy uh, slicing and dicing up my meat at the minute and getting rid of all the crapness off it. The sun's blaring down, but it's dead windy. But aye, Rooney's doing his magic. So what we're cooking tonight, Mr Rooney? We're having an Irish stew. An Irish stew. We're top of the morning to you. How you doing? I know your name. Get on the ground, stay on the ground. <laughs> Does that sound Irish? Nelly, I. <laughs> potato. Potato. Hey, hey, I remember when I was only 13 year old and I was walking down the street and this bloke come at me goes, when you're 14, come and see me. <laughs> I want you dirty little bastard. <laughs> 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 anyway, enough of the Irish accent. Hello to all Irish um, subscribers. <laughs> I hope I didn't disrespect you there. <laughs> but I. Oh, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Gone camping with uh, Chris soon, you know. Well, you? in the next couple of months, I. Are yeah, you not coming, like? Depends on where you go. We're going up on the Cheviots. That'll be a no for Rooney then. <laughs> you just both carry me. Uh, yeah, alcohol. Because, well, uh, I think Chris carries enough for himself, mate. I put it in like uh, whiskey. whiskey. Bad for your pipe such. It's not, man. Yeah. So anyway, like I say, Rooney's just. Um, Cutting off all the yucky I'm, bits. I'm not cutting it all off, I'm just cutting Aye. off. Uh, well, some of it will be nice for the chew on. Well, well, you want, you want a bit of meat to chew on, eh? Eh, <laughs> matron. That's going to be a new saying, the neat like. Much no, well, it's not my new saying, it's Christopher's, I'm um, pinching blood outdoors is saying. The glove of love. Right, that's enough of that. Right, and anyway, Rudy's, Rudy's prepping food. I'm prepping firewood off camera. And uh, yeah, I'm supping one of Rudy's cans. Welcome from the Bluey permanent residence of uh, Mr. Lund Larson and uh, me. As you can see, um, I'm having a Stella Artorius because uh, you've got to lube the pipes and all that. We've been doing a bit of humping and dumping. So obviously, like normally you just say is like cook something. So Jimmy uh, said, for a change, just tell them what you're doing. So what we're doing is making an Irish stew roni version. So that's Rony with two O's. First priority is having a swally. 
So what I've done is, um, whoops, I've nearly spilt my lager. As you can see in this pot, um, I've cut up the beef. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to season this beef and uh, going to put a few uh, other ingredients in before we fry it off. Because, uh, oh Jimmy, that's coming in here. Yeah. So Jimmy's actually putting a bit of sawdust and everything in my meat. You can do that once I'm finished, mate. <laughs> I'm doing wood prep. Wood prep. I wish you was doing wood what, cooking man, prep. I'll just sit down and I'll have one of your lagers. <laughs> right. So, first of all, just putting some corn flour in. This is because this is what I've uh, what we've got. Um, to be honest, I prefer to use potato starch, but. Uh, you know, this will do. It'll help with the thickening. So once we've got my starch in, what I've got in here is I've got two teaspoonfuls of mixed herbs. So that's going to go in with the beef. Now you've got to remember this is all going to end up going into uh, the juices. And um, yeah, we'll get there eventually. So next ingredient I'm putting in. There's a bit of uh, paprika. By the way, do you like me spoon? This was kindly donated by one of uh, the subscribers and uh, it's an amazing bit of craft work. Um, oh, I'm forgetting the name. Um, uh, b -b 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 Paul, Paul Rob, Robert, um, I'll get his second name. Put his name on, I apologise Robert. But it's just, uh, oh, you know. Sent a few. Yeah. So thank you for my spoon. But anyway, Robert Green Crow. Robert Green Crow. Right. So what I've got here is a bit of paprika that's going into the mix as well, and that's going to serve with for tomorrow as well as tomorrow's. Next, we've got a bit of um, garlic, garlic granules. Now, obviously. With these garlic granules, this is just all to help marinate the meat. Uh, we'll put a, a teaspoonful of that in. We will be putting some cloves in with the uh, fluids a bit later. Onion salt. Can you speak French, Jimmy? Onions. Parlez-vous français, s'il vous plaît? Right. Don't wait. Whatever it's called. Uh... So, now I'm putting in some uh, onion granules. Onion. Onions. Then we're coming to the salt part of it. Nice bit of salt in there. Come to the pepper. Can I walk a bit of pepper? And finally, the magic ingredient. A bit of light soy sauce. One for luck. There's the soy sauce in, and now need to get a hold of um, me internal overblaster holder holders, and uh, get your hands in and uh, give it a bit of a um, uh, man servant. I may need a little bit of uh, oil as well. Okay, sir, I'm on my way. Uh, just I'm gonna do go over here, look to the pantry. There's the pantry, look in the box, and I'll get the oil, sir. I'll just place you here because the sun's in your eyes. <laughs> so, at the minute, I'm just giving this a bit of massage. A, me a massage? A massage. You got a message for me? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yes, just giving it. It's the 1980s version of P 
soupy. Uh, spiffing out, yeah. chap. Could you put it's two been, tablespoons? It's been, it's been soiled for quite a while. Could you put a tablespoon in here, please? I will try. <laughs> <laughs> like your ma said, say when. When? <laughs> you stupid boy. Get to bed. <laughs> right, a little bit more. <laughs> when? <laughs> That's it. Oh. When? Well, I will I be <laughs> famous. <laughs> I used to hate that song. My sister loved Bros. I'll tell you what, one of them made a really good actor. There you go. Did he? What's he be, what films has he been in like? I can't remember, mate. All right, then. I can tell you one of them. Is it? No, I can't really. Can it not? <laughs> so, as a massage, massage your meat. You massage, massage. <laughs> you can, can you smell the garlic in there? Smell it. Oh, oh yeah. lovely, yeah. lovely. Now, preferably, preferably, would like to give this like three hours, but obviously in real time we're not. So, an hour. yeah, an hour, and uh, we'll bring you back just to brown it off. And uh, in the meantime, Mr. Vlunder, Lunder pants is going to do a bit of um, wood prep. Wood prep, yes. So as you can see there, yeah. it's marinating. As you can see, I'm add, bring, it, bring it close in, mate. If it had smell of vision, not used to being in control of the cameras. No, I was going to say I'm not used to having a mic on us either. Oh, so, no. Mike. So anyway, that's going to be left for an hour, mm -hmm. and uh, yes, we'll fry that off. So we'll bring you back in a little while. Thank you. Well, a lot of you have asked for that. All right. So be warned. He's got the mic. He's got the camera. He's <laughs> going to be doing a lot more. So I'll, I'll watch the ratings. Right. <laughs> See what happens. Aye. <laughs> crash. <laughs> crash. <laughs> Aye. That a bit of gravy. Oh, you're not putting that in there, are you? No. Listen, I've got red wine. I've got a castle. De la bleu 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 bleu. <laughs> right, so... Obviously, you only need 100 mils of this uh, oh, yeah, we'll 750 we'll 50 mil bottle, so we're going to have we'll to drink have the other 650. We'll I've had red wine for a long time. I think that's my had red wine, was when we're in a mess do, mate. All oh, right, okay. Anyway, right, that's, that's um, a good little section there, about nine minutes, so we'll see you in a bit. I'm going to do some wood prep now. Um, Right, well, as you can see, I've got a vast amount of wood I've been splitting. Um, this was part of a pine tree that we chopped down the other day. So I've just been splitting that up. It took a bit of going, like, now believe it or not, this chopping log was actually up here when I started. Um, I'll show you, it's, it's been getting whacked that much, it's, it's sunk right into the ground. But I'm just getting all the little bits now and just slicing them up into little bits, like chunky bits and then finer bits. And uh, yeah, we're gonna treat. I actually prefer doing all my axe work when I'm on my knees instead of standing up. You've got less chance of the axe coming down and actually hitting you if you miss of your swings. I uh, swing badly, Rooney. I don't know if Rooney will hear, will hear you, but Rooney's saying I like being on my knees. I feel like I'm always on my knees because I'm always running around after him. I feel like a bloody servant. It's like Jimmy, can you get this? Can you get that? Can you get this? Can you get that? But anyway, I'm chopping loads of wood. The hard wood that we've got, I've been just slicing it up into bits like so. It'll be much easier than having big rounds. Um, so I've been getting like bits like this. As you can see, it's a nice bit of hard wood. Look for the, look for the, um, there's a bit of a groove on there. So I just put the axe in it, put it down and then smash it. And that's it, straight in half. No bother whatsoever. Just watch for it flying around. Same again, a little bit of a, a groove in the wood. And that's it. Keep some of them a bit chunky and some of them will go a little bit littler. But off, off to the, the rear of the camera, Rooney's been busy prepping all the, all the veg and that because he, he, he always knocks around with veggies. <laughs> I've got one big vegetable. But, but anyway, I'm going to. I'm gonna hand over the mic. I should oh. get me. I should get me other one out of the bag, actually. Oh, right. I don't know what you do with this, like. Right. Well, as like I say, is um, off camera, being preparing the veg. Jimmy's preparing the uh, wood. 
uh, you mightn't be able to see I'll show you but uh, what I'm actually doing is um, this is called bushcraft vegetable cutting and what I mean by that is what used to people used to do people of the forest and all that you know like Bigfoot and all that when they used to have their children they used to get the carrots and all that and get them to practice making carrot feather sticks so what I'm doing is, as you can see, is um, because we haven't got a, a proper tatey peeler. I know you, we haven't got any, we're not wasting my water washing them. So uh, yeah, if you look, I'm practicing me feather sticks. You know what I mean? So a bit of bushcraft 101, using every available asset that you can to train. And uh, yes, that's a beautiful looking feather stick of carrots you know what I mean look at that beautiful vegetables there carrots oh I don't know if we dry them out actually if we dry them out uh -huh. we could use them because they're very very fine you know right. but we could you also put them out for the squirrels and then you know uh -huh. say to them so yes um, just about finished what well, pot of vegetables obviously these are these is going to go into the five liter um pot with the meat so this is the last bit of veg that we're doing and then uh, i'll bring you back when i'm going to brown off the meat um because i'm going to actually do that on a, a gas stove just so it's ready but i won't be browning that off until jimmy's initially just got the fire started so yeah, happy days. Guess what we're having for breakfast? Carrots. <laughs> Carrots. Well, that fill my big pot. Yeah. Well, if it doesn't, I'm buggered. Anyway, until uh, later on. <coughs> Pardon me. Speak to you later, alligator. In a while. Crocodile. Done. Yeah. Well, it's half past five. The wind's calmed down a little bit. I don't know why I looked up in the sky for there when I said that. But aye, the wind's calmed down a bit. I've got a bit of a, 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 a mental fire layer here, like with some really big chunks of wood. I'm just going to light it up with one of these little twizzlers. And I've got absolutely tons of wood prepped. I'll just show you a quick clip up as I'm talking. Um, been slicing and dicing loads of uh, wood while Rooney's been busy slicing and dicing carrots and all sorts of stuff. But anyway, I've got a tiny little bit of wood here and then I've got all my nice little bits that I've been slicing up down here, ready to put on top of them. So let's just get the fire going instead of waffling. I'm just going to watch for the wind. Oh, there we go. Lighter in pocket so we don't lose it. Now I'm just hoping the wind doesn't blow everything into the shelter like. But uh, twigs on first, nice and dry. There's going to be a bit of smoke, like, but you know, that's it, can. That wind, I still need another barrier wall there, like, because I think the wind's going to be pushing the flames out all the time. But uh, yeah, they're starting to catch nicely now. Should be coming through soon. So I, I'm absolutely Hank Marvin. And I'm dying at first, so I think once I've got the fire done, I'm going to be knocking up a Jack Daniels. I've got a couple of nice bits of Jack Daniels with us this week. I think I've still got one of them other drinks that I was drinking that Rooney gave us for Christmas. So I'm just going to start adding a few little snippets of um, the sliced up wood that I've got. This is uh, bits of um, hardwood and pine mixed. See what I mean about the wind? It's blowing all the flames over to the right hand side. But we'll just keep that going. It should be hunky donkey dory. And that's it. A fire in the wind conditions. Oh, there's an acorn. We'll put that on. That's it, we've got a bonfire now. <laughs> but yeah. Well, as you can see, the wind's blowing the fire. So. It's, it's getting it going like. Brilliant. Ronnie, are you just about finished now? Yeah, I've just got a Smoke swirling all hour. So, ooh, just got off me old man knees. 
So there you go, look. A raging fire. And yeah, so look at all the smoke on me shelter, man. Oh, it's not good, that, like. So basically, I've just uh, cut eight fresh cloves of garlic up um, to go into the stew the night. As you can see, we've got a nice wine. Woo! A Castellano Rote de 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 And uh, yes, I'm just uh, cleaning my hands and after doing that garlic, because I feel my fingers smell like I've been with a, a French woman of the night, you know, so um, yeah, <laughs> just clean it up now. Fire. And once this fire gets going, I'll, depending on how the wind is, I might sear the meat in that. Um, but uh, we'll play it by ear. Right. See you in a while, crocodile. Adios. One of the good things about bringing this. Oh, look at that. I said, do now the smoke comes to me. That's bloody typical, isn't it? Look at this nice smoke there where I was originally going to go on. Well, I don't know if you can see we're through the smoke, but Rooney's went and brought some jerky. Oh, so I'm going to have a, a quick opener of this. Actually, no, I'm not, because I am dying at first. It's time for a Jack Daniels and a Stella Artois for Rooney. Oh, <laughs> first of the day. Probably have a few floaters in it, like. I'm going to put that down there because it'll probably end up in the fire in any way. And I can. Yes, it's very uh, blustery, isn't it? It is. I'll I've, tell you what it is. I've been, I... I've been evicted from the shelter because the smoke's at that much in it. Yeah. It's unbelievable, like. But I'll tell you what it is, if I was at home, I'd have me washing on the washing line, me Honda pants flying around. They'd be in the next door neighbour's flipping <laughs> garden, man. Right, and anyway, if you can see it, I'm going to move the camera because the smoke's just no good, is it? Is that better? It is for the second being. <laughs> this is mental, isn't it? The smoke's just swirling everywhere, everybody. So apologies, apologies, apologies. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be a bit squinty-eyed soon because the smoke's in my eyes that much. Right, anyway, cheers everybody. Thank you, thank you very much everybody for tuning in and listening to our waffling absolute crap all the way through it because that's what we do. I'd like to see is I understand how the Elizabethans put up with the smog in London because I tell you what it is this is rank it's, oh, like, it's terrible day, it's really good wood it's dry uh, it's just I'm, I'm getting it all like oh, doesn't matter where I move I think it just likes us now anyway, when he's made a flat pack a flat pack, flat pack a back pack. pack full of uh, a jerky so I'm just going to stab it without cutting my hand I think I need my neck knife uh, sharpened because that's blunt as a blunt thing it's a uh, Let's have a little smell first. Let's get that. Let's get that beak in. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that smells absolutely delicious. Lots of nice spices. Hold on. Have you got your proper teeth in? You need these proper teeth in. Aye. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I need some chewing on. Oh my God! Your tongue's burning. It's what your tongue's burning. Mm. That may be called chilli. Mm. You know, it's a chilli plate on it. Yeah. I'll bring a bit up now, let's have a look. Spice is nice. Especially with, with rice. rice. But yeah, <laughs> oh, I just need to on a bit there, sorry I had to do that. But yeah, it's nice, mate. No, I've got some there. Oh, you got the pack there, no? no. Oh, that'll do it, mate. I'm not going to eat all my sweets. Say it back with me, if it's easier to talk. I'm not going to eat all my sweets at once. I'm going to save them for after my tea. After <laughs> your tea? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what it is. As I said earlier on, I think I'm going to promote them to the person that eats enough food for a small town. Because obviously by the time you see this video, you will have seen these other videos where he has his sausages in the morning, he has his eggs, then he eats his hash, hash stew bread. or whatever Aye. it was, yeah. then he eats two buffalo steaks, two zebra steaks, with a condiment of vegetables and all that malarkey, and he had all that in one day, and he says that he doesn't eat very much. Right, and then I had <laughs> sausages and eggs. I had four eggs and two sausages the next morning. 
and right he got up he said I didn't want to wake you up so I just made the sausages and eggs for myself in the morning and, uh, well, it was, there was only enough for me <laughs> Yeah, because he didn't want to go hungry throughout the day, you know what I mean? Oh, he only I... had like four steaks to eat. Hush soup. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one, two, one, two, one, two. Testing, testing, testing. One, two, one, two. Do you hold these in your hand or do you just leave them on your clothes? I like leaving mine on my clothes. Because I think you look like a reporter <laughs> when you hold it like this. But anyway, I'm getting yeah. smoked out, so I think I'm going to sit where the camera is and then I'll probably get smoked out there. But the heat's amazing off the fire. It's warm, and anyway, we just need to start. We need to get um, Rooney cooking. Right, oh, I need to get the beef seared. Guy, he's gonna sear the sear the beef, and then we're gonna get the tripod up, and we're gonna get it um, in the pot, all of the fluids and wine and that, and then uh, we'll bring you along for little snippets. The video's got to be probably got going to already be on about half an hour, 45 minutes. So I'll just do little snippets of the cooking as I normally do. I may just be on a time lapse. But uh, there's trees bending there. I know. I just hope none of them snap. Because they're, they're proper doubling over. But uh, I sure that the, the I, well I will do in a second you grab that. I'm just gonna turn the turn the camera around. Holy moly! Don't have to hold it that close. Holy moly! Oh. Oh. Well, there's one thing for sure the night. If the drink doesn't get us to sleep, the rocking of the trees will. Aye, <laughs> but because my, my shelter is actually on two, two long trees, the shelter actually moves. But look at that, look at the sun, man. How, how long has it been since we've had sunshine like that? Eh, I can't even look at it. Right, right, just a little story. You'll see Jimmy vaporise in a minute because he's not used to being out in sunlight. You know what I mean? Person of the night that goes around stealing everybody's food and milk. <laughs> right, we'll catch us later on, everybody. Toodle pips. Bye bye. We get your soul. While you've been away, right, we've seared the beef and uh, now we're going to cook the beef for approximately an hour. But obviously, you saw all them spices, we're going to add a few uh, things to it. So, we're going to start with a, a tin of tomatoes chopped. Cameraman's trying to climb over. Oh, yeah. Oh, the cameraman, man cameraman down. Stab his side with a stick. So we've hide that in. Now we're gonna smoky. Go with the wine. Oh, hey, matron, is that a bottle of wine? A bottle. Of... Yes. One about a uh, hundred million, even though it's a bit more that. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's Sorry, it's not... this isn't cooking wine. I it before you taste it. What's the aroma you're getting? It smells like a rebel nun in the woods. <laughs> Ew. Oh, it's nice, that. Is it? Ooh. Yes. I'll have a taste later. Uh, it's got a, a aroma of smokiness with roast chestnuts on a flaming fire with a bit of lemon squeezy. And you're so easy. raw grapes. <laughs> yes. That's <laughs> crazy because they're so easy. Right, so. so uh, look at that's what we've got so far. Some wine. Want some meat? Tomatoes, what? wine, what? and zivata. Oh. I hope you can fit the veg in, mate. Well, if not, we'll just eat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just eat the meat. No. <laughs> Cubes, oxozy, tapesy. Um, behind you. Yes. 
in my very messy bed space because Rooney's got crap everywhere. What type of them? They are beef oxo cubes. Beef, they're not oxo because it would say oxo. Well, no, well, well, they're just the Asda make because I'm oh, a cheap right. skate. Cheap skate, right. Aye. We'll try one of these. Um, Aye. Look. I've, I've got some uh, lamb. Is it lamb ones or veg, veggie ones? Or I think I might try the lamb ones when I have some lamb. That'll reduce them anyway, won't it? Yep. So. And we've got all the spices and stuff coming off. Yeah. Um, a little tad more water, because it will reduce. Right, well, hi everybody. Well, it's been a, quite a while. It's now about half past 11 at night. Me, mm. and, me and Rooney have been doing a live feed. He's been a kip for quite a lot of it. So anyway, we've got a nice pan here of food. And I'm really, really, really looking forward to getting stuck into it. Really, where's your ball, mate? All right, I'll, I'll bring it. I'll give you a closer look of it later in a minute. But um, I'm just going to turn this pot lid upside down. It's got a, a plate, a, a, like, a, oh, it's just full of goodness. To see it when, Rooney. Hi, I'm, I'm going right at the bottom, mate. Are you sure? I'm just going to have about the same up there. Oh, well, you got your big spoon there. I'm going to use my wooden spoon, me. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Grab, grab this, yeah. Yeah. No, no, There's loads no. of meat in this one. No, sorry. Are you sure? Mm. Oh, well, I'll have it then. Well, there you go. It's a called an Irish... What's it posh. called? It's a posh Irish stew. Cause it's, it's posh Irish stew. I'm going to bring this closer up to it. All right, then I'm going to put the lid of life onto the main pot. But there we go. Lots of beef, carrots, taties, onions, lots of bits and pieces in there. And it's going to look finger looking good. So I'm just going to move these over a bit so I can talk through it. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it tastes. So now anyway, Rooney's out eating out of his old white spoon. I'm eating out of my new racing spoon that I got sent by Rob. It's absolutely amazing, this spoon. Like I'm really liking it. It's going to be my go-to eating thing. Mm. That's a little bit of potato there and it's just melting in my mouth. Now the carrots need to be a bit crunchy for me, like that's my favourite. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what I'm doing. These juices are just lush. Let's have a try of the meat for the beef. Oh my god. It's really nice Rooney, really, isn't it? I haven't got one bit of beef yet. Have you not? I've just got vegetables in here. Rooney, there's loads of beef here, mate. It's look. Mm -hmm. here. No, it's just wait. No, I'm gonna hide some beef in your pot. Because I didn't want him saying that he hasn't got any. That's too much. No, no, yeah. I'm going to feed him, feed the boy. There's, there's a load in there, and he can whatever he doesn't eat, he can just put that in the pot. We'll have it tomorrow, because I'm going to eat all mine, because I do. I've just nearly dropped it. Did you see that? Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. Oh, it is lovely, like. But the whole thing's nice. It's been, I think cooking in one of them uh, cast iron pots is a lot better than cooking in a normal pot. Mm. And anyway, it's very late. I think what we're gonna do is, we're gonna just sit and enjoy our food. We're gonna blast some music off. Let the fire die down. 
have a couple of more drinks. Well, I am, and anyway, don't know about Rooney. And I'm just going to enjoy myself tonight for the last couple of hours, like half past 11 at night now, so I've only got a couple of hours before I want to go to sleep and uh, enjoy this food. And hopefully there'll be a little bit left there the morrow for my dinner. It all depends how hungry I get. But it is bloody lovely, like, look at that, man. Big, massive chunks of meat and everything. The thickest of the sauce. Mm, our sauce is amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's finger licking good. That's all I can see. And the, the carrots are nice and crunchy. Now, mate. Good night, everybody. I see you in the morning when I wake up bright and early. Cheers for watching. Something that matters